Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Today we are going to start with the new topic, Simultaneous Equations from Class 9 ICAC Consai Selena. And we are going to solve exercise 6a, but this 6a is going to be solved in two parts. It becomes lengthy because this is the solving of simultaneous equation by substitution method. Okay, so the exercise is going to be solved in two parts. So please children, if you after going through, you like the video, do share with your friends. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. So we start with the first question. Solve the following pair of linear equations uh, using the method of elimination by substitution. So what is the linear equation, first of all? So linear equation is an equation which is having a degree of a, a polynomial as 1. So here x to the power 1. So this is why it is called linear equations. Solving simultaneously means solving two equations at the same time. So let us take this as equation number 1 and this as equation number 2. So now when we are solving this equation, what we do is we find the value of x in terms of y from any of these equations and substitute in the next equation. So if we have here 8x plus 5y is equal to 9. So from this equation, we get 8x is equal to 9 minus 5y or x is equal to 9 minus 5y upon 8. Let this be our equation number 3. Now this we will be substituting in equation 2. So we can now write here from 2 and 3. So in place of x in equation number 2, we are substituting this value. So we get 3 in bracket 9 minus 5y upon 8 plus 2y is equal to 4. Now let us Expand this 3 nines are 27 minus 3 into minus 15 is minus 15y upon 8 plus 2y is equal to 4. Now here the denominator is 1. So we will multiply by 8 and divide by 8 here. So this becomes 27 minus 15y plus 2 8s are 16y upon 8. This 8 goes here 4 8s are this becomes 32. Okay. Minus 15 plus 16 we get y. And 32, this 27 moves here becomes minus 27. We get the value of y as 32 minus 27, which is 5. Now, this value of y, we are going to put in equation number 3. So, we get x is equal to 9 minus 5 into 5 upon 8, which is 9 minus 5, 5 is 25 upon 8. 9 minus 25 is minus 16 upon 8, which is minus 2. So, this is how we got the value of x as minus 2, value of y is 5. Then with question number 1, let's move on to question number 2. So we have 2x minus 3y is equal to 7. Let this be equation number 1. 5x plus y is equal to 9. Let this be equation number 2. Now from this equation number 2, we get y is equal to 9 minus 5x. Let this be equation number 3. Now we are going to put this value of y in equation number 1. So we can say now from 1 and 3. So we get 2x minus 3 in bracket 9 minus 5x is equal to 7. In place of y here, we have put the value as 9 minus 5x. Let us expand the brackets over here. So we have 2x minus 3 9s are 27. Minus 3 into minus 15 is plus 15x is equal to 7. So 2x plus 15x is 17x is equal to 7 minus 27 goes here it becomes plus 27 7 plus 27 is 34 you get x is equal to 34 upon 17 which is equal to 2 okay now we got the value of x as 2 let us put this value in equation number 3 so we get y is equal to 9 minus 5 times 2 which is 9 minus 5 times 2 is here 10 and 9 minus 10 we get minus 1 so this is how we get x is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 1. And this is our solution for the given simultaneous equation. Got it? Let's move on to question number 3. We have 2x plus 3y is equal to 8. Let this be equation 1. 2x is equal to 2 minus 3y. Let this be equation number 2. Now from this equation, we get x is equal to 2 plus 3y upon 2. This 2 shifts over here, right? Let this be equation number 3. We are going to put this value of x in equation number 1. So we say from 1 and 3, we have 2 in bracket 2 plus 3y upon 2 plus 3y is equal to 8. So we have put the value of x over here. Now this 2 and 2 is going to get cancelled. So we get here 2 plus 3y 
plus 3y is equal to 8. 3y plus 3y is 6y. This 8 moves here, it becomes minus, sorry, 2 moves here, it becomes minus 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. So we get y is equal to 6 upon 6, which is equal to 1. Now we have got the value of y as 1. We will put it in equation number 3. So we get x is equal to 2 plus 3 into 1. In place of y, I am putting 1 upon 2. 2 plus 3, which is 5 upon 2, which can be written as 2.5. So this is how you get x is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 1. And this is the solution. Moving to question number 4. We have 0.2x plus 0.1y is equal to 25. And this is our equation number 1. And 2 in bracket x minus 2 minus 1.6y is equal to 116 is our equation number 2. Okay. Now from this equation number 1, we get 0.2x is equal to 25 minus 0.1y. So you get x is equal to 25 minus 0.1y upon 0.2. We are going to substitute this value. This is let this be our equation number 3. In equation number 2, so we can say from 2 and 3. So we put here 2 in place of x, we are going to put 25 minus 0.1y upon 0.2 minus 2 minus 1.6y is equal to 116. Now here we are going to multiply by 0.2 and divide by 0.2 to have the LCM. Now 2 in divided by 0.2 is going to be 10. So how it is 2 upon 0.2. So multiply by 10, multiply by 10. We get 20 upon 10, which is 20 upon 2. 2 into 0.10 is 2. So 2, 20 upon 2, which is 10. So this is how we got this as 10. So 10 in bracket 25 minus 0.1y minus 2 times 0.2 is going to be 0.4 minus 1.6y is equal to 116. Now, now this, let us multiply by 10 inside. So, 10 into uh, 25 is 250. 10 into 0 0.1 is going to be 1. So, 1y minus 0.4 into 10 is going to be 4. Minus 1.6y is equal to 116. Now, minus 1.6y and minus y is minus 2.6y, which is equal to 116. 250 minus 4 is 246, which comes here because minus 246. 116 minus 246 is minus 130. So we now get here y is equal to minus 130 upon minus 2.6. So this minus sign got cancelled. Multiply by 10, multiply by 10, you get 1300 upon 26. 26 phi's are 30. So we get 1300 divided by 26, we get 50. We got the value of y as 50. Let us substitute this in equation number 3. So we get x is equal to 25 minus 0.1 into 50 upon 0 0.2. So which is 25, 0.1 into 50 is 5 upon 0 0.2, which is 20 upon 0 0.2. And 20 upon 0 0.2 is nothing. 2 upon 10. So this becomes actually 200 upon 20. So this x is equal to, we are getting 100. So we are getting x is equal to 100. And y is equal to 50. And this is our solution. x is equal to 100 and y is equal to 50 is the solution for our question number 4. Got it? Okay. Let's move on to the next question. So question number five, we have 6x is equal to 7y plus 7. Let this be equation number one. 7y minus x is equal to 8. This is our equation number two. Now let us uh, make the value of x over here. So from this equation, I'll get minus x is equal to 8 minus 7y. So x is equal to this minus sign moves here, my, dividing by minus 1 or multiplying by minus 1 to both sides, we get 7y minus 8. Let this be equation number 3. Now, this value of x, we are going to put in equation 1. So, we say from 1 and 3, we get here 6 in bracket 7y minus 8 is equal to 7y plus 7. 6 7s are 42y minus 6 8s are minus 48 is equal to 7y plus 7. 7y moves here, it becomes minus 42y minus 7y is equal to 7 plus 48. 
So we get here 70, 42 minus 7 is 35. Y is equal to uh, 55. Y is equal to 55 upon 35. Divide by 5, you get 11. Uh, 5 11 and 5 7 za. So 11 upon 7. Now we put this value y is equal to 11 upon 7 in this equation number 3. So we get x is equal to 7 in bracket 11 upon 7 minus 8. So this 7 got cancelled. 11 minus 8 which is 3. So this is how we got the value of x as 3 and value of y as 11 upon 7. Got it? So we are done with question number 5. Moving on to question number 6. Now question number 6 we have, sorry, y is equal to 4x minus 7 and 16x minus equation number 1 and this be equation number 2. Now equation 1 we already have 4x minus 7. So we substitute the value of y is equal to 4x minus 7 in equation 2. So we get 16x minus 5 in bracket 4x minus 7 is equal to 25. Okay. Now, let us simplify. We get 16x minus 5 fours are 20x uh, minus 5 into minus 7 is plus 35. 35 is equal to 25. 16x minus 20x is minus 4x. And this 35 goes here 25 minus 35, which is minus 10. So, we get x is equal to minus 10 upon minus 4. Dividing by 2, you get 2 5s are 10, 2 2s are 4, 5 upon 2. Okay, so we got the value of x as 5 upon 2. Let us put this value in equation number 1. So we have y is equal to 4 into pi by 2 minus 7. 2 1s are 2 2s are 5 2s are 10 minus 7. We get the value of 10 minus 7. Y is equal to 3. So x is equal to 5 by 2 and y is equal to 3 is our solution. Okay, this is the solution. Unique solution for the simultaneous equations. Okay, moving on to question number 7. Question number 7, we have 2x plus 7y is equal to 39 and 3x plus 5y is equal to 31. Let this be equation 1. Let this be equation number 2. Now, from this equation number 2, we can have 3x is equal to 31 minus 5y or x is equal to 31 minus 5y upon 3. Let this be equation number 3. Now, we will substitute this value of x in equation 1. So, we say from 1 and 3. So, we have 2 in place of x. We are going to put 31 minus 5y upon 3 plus 7y is equal to 39. Let us multiply by 2. 2 into 31 is 62. 2 5s are 10. So, minus 10y. This is minus 10y upon 3 plus 7y. So, here we will take the LCM. We will be multiplying by 3 and dividing by 3 is equal to 39. So, the denominator is 3. So, we just add the numerators. We have 62 minus 10y plus 7 3s are 21y is equal to 3 goes here. 39 into 3, we get 117. Okay. So, we got here 117. Let us solve this ahead. So, we get 62. This uh, minus 10 plus 21 is plus 11y is equal to 117. So 11y is equal to 117 minus 62. 7 minus 2 is 5. 11 minus 6 is 5. We get 55. So y is equal to 55 upon 11, which is 5. Okay. Let us put the value of y is equal to 5 in this equation. So we get x is equal to 31 minus 5 times 5 upon 3. So which is 31 minus 5 5 are 25 upon 3. 31 minus 25 is 6 and 6 upon 3 is 2. So we get x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 5 and this is the required solution of our simultaneous equations. Got it? So we have done with 7 questions. The next 7 questions are going to be solved in the next video children. If you like the video, please share with your friends and thank you for watching. Have a good day.